Hello guys, uh, welcome to learnautomation.com. This is Mukesh. So today in this video tutorial, we will see how to execute a Selenium script in iBrowser. So we need third party drivers for this, but before moving to the actual scenario, let's discuss what exactly we will cover in this video. We'll see what is IE driver, why we need this separate driver, a legal state exception and set the path. So I will start with a clip. So this is our project ready. I will start designing a new package called IE driver or let's say IE browser. So in this uh, package, I will create a new class it's called IE browser execution. I will take Java class as of sorry Java public static void main as of now because we have not covered test ng and uh, now I will start creating object of web driver so I will say web driver driver equal to new internet explorer driver so it will ask you to import this so please import internet explorer driver same it will give you for web driver so now if you run this program you will get one exception so you can see it's throwing one exception called illegal state exception and you can see it's giving the same warning as uh, the same exception we got for the chrome as well right so it's saying please set this property that is webdriver.ie.driver and you can download the driver from here. So you can download the driver from their official website too. So simply navigate to seleniumhq.org sorry org and go to download section. So you will get all the third party drivers here but for IE you will get a separate section called uh, Internet Explorer Driver Server 32 and 64. So you can download uh, based on your machine, but I will suggest you go with uh, 32 bit machine because it will work for 64 bit as well. And you will get uh, some fixes here in 64. It works very slow. I have noticed. So I will suggest you go with the 32. So let's download this 32 bit driver. It will ask you to save this file. If you want to go with 64, you can go, but uh, you will find some issue with 64 bit. So this is a zip file I will simply uh, cut from here and here we created one folder called selenium driver selenium drivers Actually, I have all the all previous drivers here. I want to show you because this is a previous version 2.46, but the latest is 2.47. So let's keep here only. So this is the new one 2.47, and uh, let me delete the previous one. Right now, uh, I will extract this, and you will get this IE driver server. Simply uh, in Windows, press shift button and right click on this you will get one option copy as path so now go to your program and make the changes to set this property we have one predefined class known as system class and if you put dot operator we will get one method called set property which will uh, ask you give me the key and value so key we will get from the console so key is web driver everything is in a small let us so webdriver.ie.driver and this is the path right so i will use double slash here and semicolon now it will not throw because we have specified the path for other browsers you have to do this if you are working with firefox it will run automatically you don't have to download the driver because it comes internally with selenium now you can pass the url you can continue with your execution so i will open my blog and I will print the title. So I will say driver dot get title. So let's run this. 
so i will uh, i will show you there are some issues with uh, ie browser and uh, this is the uh, most frequently asked interview question as well like while working with other browsers what uh, what are the issues you have faced so we have some browser setting issue here um, that is security issue and zooming issue so zoom issue and security issue we will discuss in the next program that is the next tutorial like uh, what are the changes we have to do so you can see it started with ie browser previously it was throwing illegal state exception and you can see it's showing this is the initial start page for web driver server now it will take some time to load and once it will load completely it will print the title here on console okay guys so uh, while working with i browser if you are facing some issue then i am going to list down the issues that you will face while working with selenium so in the next video tutorial we will cover everything like what are the issues you can face and uh, what are the fixes uh, that we have for that and it's an interview question so while working with other browsers make sure whatever exceptions are coming just make a note of it and try to find out the solution for it so you can see it has listed down the title and it's working fine why we are worrying about other browsers because once we move forward we will be executing the same selenium script in multiple browsers so we have one concept of cross browser testing in selenium for cross browser you should have some browsers ready mainly we will execute our selenium script on firefox chrome ie safari opera in my organization uh, we execute on three browsers but in case if you are working with safari and opera very frequently you can execute your selenium script in uh, Cro sorry opera and safari as well so you should know how to start other browsers once we move forward we will cover a cross browser testing as well so i think we have covered it's a very small tutorial i driver downloaded why we need because it supports only firefox illegal state exception and how to set the path so just try the same in your machine in case if you find any issue you can uh, contact me thank you so much have a nice day